Stalin section, the Soviet Katine and the American and South Korean Katine. Contrary to the collectivization of agriculture and the rushed industrialization, the massacre of Polish officers, ordered by the Soviet leadership and carried out in Katyn in March and April of 1940, is a crime in itself. The challenge posed by Finland continued to linger. After the unsuccessful attempt to arrange an agreed-upon exchange of territory, undertaken by Stalin with the aim of providing a minimal of territorial depth to the defense of Leningrad, a city that is a later protagonist of an epic resistance against the Nazi invasion. Now the war appears to be widening and becoming generalized. In such a case, what would be the reaction from the captured Polish officers following the dismemberment of Poland? For Moscow's part, they try in vain to dissuade them from their stubborn anti-Soviet positions. The legacy of the conflict that began with the collapse of the Tsarist Empire and that, therefore, tended to take on the brutal characteristics of a civil war. The situation became very difficult. There was the danger of the USSR itself being consumed by the war, and there were Western circles that were considering an overthrow of Stalin's regime. That is the, quote, grave security problem that precipitated the appalling decision that Stalin must have later, quote, bitterly lamented due to the troubles and complications that followed. In other words, in the case of the Katyn executions, the moral dilemmas that Walzer brought up are also present. However, it would be wrong in this case to invoke the, quote, supreme emergency, further expanding a criteria that inherently runs the risk of becoming excessively broad. Although it's unjustifiable, the crime we are dealing with doesn't involve characteristics that are specific to Stalin's personality or the regime led by him. Let's consider the crime that stains United States General Patton. Upon landing in Sicily, he orders the massacre of Italian soldiers who surrendered after fierce resistance. Although it's an atrocity smaller in scope, it's necessary to have in mind that there's no real security concerns for the country that provoked it but rather the spirit of vengeance, or maybe even racial contempt. In other words, in this case it's a matter of a crime of abject motives. However, if we want to find a real analogy to Katyn, we must reference other tragedies and other horrors. Ten years after the Soviet Katyn, that which we can define as the United States and South Korean Katyn took place. The Korean War is underway. From the savagely bombarded north, a mass of refugees heads to the south. How were they received? Quote, the United States Army had a policy of killing civilians that approached South Korea. The victims were, quote, mostly women and children, but they had feared that North Korean infiltrators had been among them. Although in researching one of the more documented cases, the killings that occurred in Nogunri, quote, there didn't appear to be any proof of enemy infiltrators. End quote. Here, it's not a question of orders from a single, albeit high profile, general or marshal like Patton, but rather a policy approved at the highest military and political levels in the United States. And it's that exact situation that makes us think of Katyn, especially because security is at stake in the two cases. To guarantee security, the United States and its allies don't stop at killing refugees. They considered it necessary to also eliminate the potential fifth column. For example, quote, In the city of Taejeon, in July of 1950, the police order 1,700 Koreans accused of being communists to dig their graves. Then they were put to the firing squad. A witness explains, beginning of long quote, on a Sunday morning at dawn, in the apparently deserted city of Chochiwan, I saw a procession of men and women, bound to one another with their hands behind their backs, beaten and bashed, while they were led from the police station to the trucks they're forced to climb into. They were later put to the firing squad, left unburied one or two miles away. End quote. It's a large-scale operation, beginning of long quote. In a cobalt mine near Daegu, 
in the south of the country. Researchers have so far found the remains of 240 people. It's just a fraction of the presumed 3,500 prisoners or suspected communists grabbed from their cells or homes between July and September of 1950, and later put to the firing squad and tossed to the bottom of the mine. End quote. Sometimes the victims of summary executions also included women and children. One could say in such cases that not even the family of the suspected communist was spared. The obsession with security doesn't only strike the military rear, but the captured or recaptured cities as well. Here's what happened in one of them. Quote, they told us to light our cigarettes. Then they started to unload with their rifles and machine guns. After a pause, one officer shouted, Those of you still alive, you can get up and go home. Those that did were again fired upon. End quote. How many victims in total were there from these two practices of killing refugees and eliminating those suspected of being communists? In truth, it still hasn't fully been determined the extension of that which, quote, the relatives of the victims call the Korean death camps. For now, a provisional figure can be reached. Quote, the researchers have so far investigated 1,222 cases of mass executions. The cases included 215 incidents in which the survivors claim American ground troops and planes killed unarmed refugees. End quote. The American and South Korean Katyn doesn't appear to be smaller in scale than the Soviet one and in addition it shows a greater lack of scruples for a war carried out thousands of kilometers away by a country whose leaders in Washington couldn't in any way claim a supreme emergency. But here it's not a question of establishing a hierarchy between the two crimes. Both are unjustifiable. It's instead a question of noting the inadequacy of the moral Manichaean approach to understanding Stalin and the country led by him. End section.